is the best class. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> no, I'm um, what? Yeah, I was expecting some, I was expecting some groans. Um, well, I, I first want to say thank you to Class 4 for allowing me to be your president this year. And, of course, thank you to my First Lady, who's my guest tonight. Uh, she is Sister Holman of New Harvest Apostolic Church, so thank you for being here. I'm here to talk about the wonderful experience that we've had from this amazing leadership program. Um, and I, I want to share a story first. I'm not the only male spouse here or person that's associated with the military. So you guys, I'm sure, can relate. Uh, when my husband and I were first, or we first received orders that we'd be coming here, the first thing we did was we looked it up on the map. And you know, his his coworkers and friends began teasing him that we're not being stationed at Fort Leonard Wood, we're being stationed at Fort Lost in the Woods. <laughs> so we looked it up on the map and we saw this team little dot covered by all this grassy area and so the <clears throat> Fort Lost in the Woods began to make sense um, but when I got here I was so delighted by the community because everybody just had the, the biggest smile on their face you can tell everyone loved to be here the first thing that I did of course you know we were moving in getting our supplies and things was I went to the mall and no, I'm just teasing. I went to Walmart. <laughs> Jokes. And there was actually a lady that volunteered to take my basket back into the store. And I was like, okay, this is going to be a, a happy place. Everybody's so happy and so nice and so polite. And when my business joined the chamber, there was actually just one seat left. So I was very fortunate. And I'm so grateful that, that I was able to, to be a part of the class, and I'm sure all of my class members uh, would agree. Each session has been so informative and such a unique learning experience that I am very confident that everybody who has gone through the LPC course can go off and start our own small town. <laughs> um, really. Uh, we went through, and Mike, he, he mentioned them, but I'm just going to just talk very briefly about our experience. We went through the Leadership Basic, which was the True Colors, which was very good. We learned a lot about our leadership styles, and when we got back to the next session, we just talked about how it just made us better leaders in our office, better able to understand the people that we work with, and even the people that we live with in our homes. We did the history and the tourism, where we learned that the first Walmart was right here. And that was mind-blowing. And then the Trail of Tears through the Ruby Dew, that was just, that was amazing to learn. We did the education, technology, and media. We were able to fully understand the hard work that goes behind the scenes in those positions and really appreciate the great job that our educators are doing in this county. We went through the volunteer community service, which we learned a lot about the different organizations that and charities that are in this community so that we can get more involved, find more ways that we can help our community and then we were able to give back to Kids Harbor. We uh, painted and we put up Christmas decorations and we got to bond and have fun a little bit. Uh, that was my personal favorite. We had Government Day where we met some of the local and state officials. It was very enlightening to learn about some of the resources that are available to us for our careers and for our businesses. We did Today, the last session, um, we did the health care and public service, and we got to meet the uh, officials for uh, the police department and the fire department, and they're just doing a great job, especially considering the limited amount of resources that they have 
and the crime rate and, and their numbers are looking amazing. And so, you know, of course we get a, a, another amount of respect for those, for our uh, community leaders there. The amount of networking that we got from our class, from the presenters, from each of the sessions, and even the other classes, just that sense of pride that we have and we see each other knowing that, you know, I too am an LPC graduate, it's just very rewarding in so many ways, and the <coughs> learning itself, of course, goes beyond measure. Um, we joke about who's the best class. All of us do it, not just me, so <laughs> I'm not the bad guy. We all do it, but in all honesty and fairness, each of us who made the decision to go through this program just shows that we care about our community, and we want to be the best at what we do. So. With that being said, LPC Class 4 has two presentations. The first one being, we all donated to the Route 66 Preservation Project, and we challenge all of the other classes to follow suit and do the same thing. The, and on my way to my seat, the last one is, today is Kate's last day, and she's done so much for our class, we weren't able to vote for her for some of the superlatives that we voted for, but we just wanted to collectively say that we thank you for everything that you've done for us, and best wishes at your next duty station and all of your future endeavors. So thank you guys.